Hey guys, this is Megan Hilton, and today I am sharing with you a haul! An actual haul of items that I purchased. So first, let's start with Friends Beauty, which I think it's still pronounced Friends, but I'm not sure. I almost showed you guys this with my address on it and everything. Woo! Um, it's spelled F-R-E-N-D-S. So I think that's still pronounced Friends, but I'm not sure. And I purchased from there this Perry and Spirits 2-ounce brush cleaner jar. And it looks like this. Inside of here, you have this little rim thing that you put in the bottom, this little plastic thing. You put that in the bottom, and then you put this piece of mesh plastic on top of that. And it just allows all of the dirt and debris and makeup and gunk to collect down at the bottom underneath that stuff. So you're not continuously dipping your brushes in it. And I really, really like this. I purchased this because I have the Cinema Secrets one and I like it okay. Um, but I thought this one would work better and I was definitely right. This one does work better. And it doesn't leak. The other one does actually leak. I, it really does. So let's go to my... That was the only thing I purchased from that website. And the only reason I purchased it from that website is because I could not find it on the website that I used uh, to order the rest of the stuff. So I like that. I like that friend's website though. It was nice. So this, everything else is from Camera Ready Cosmetics, and I really like them, and I'm going to continue using them. But first off, I ordered this Alcon Stop the Sweat, two fluid ounces stuff. <laughs> and what this is, is you take a cotton ball or Q-tip or something, and you just kind of dab it in the places where you want to stop the sweat. It's probably, it doesn't sound like it's good for you, like for your skin or anything. I really don't know. But actually, it doesn't even have that much stuff in it. I don't know. I really wanted to get it for those days where I really just do not want to sweat. I'm going to research this more and find out more about it. I haven't used it yet. I'm waiting to use it, but you had to get to a certain amount to get free shipping, and I was like, you know what? Why not throw this in there? Did I stuff my teeth? No, sorry. Next up, I got this little stainless steel mixing palette from Graftobin? Graftobin? I'm not sure how to say these names of these different um, companies. I'm really sorry. I should have looked that up, but oh well, I didn't. So I got this little, this is going to be blinding. I know everyone says that, but oh, well, look at that. Look at that. Sorry. I got this little stainless steel mixing palette, and I got this because whenever I'm using my NYX Brow Gel, I'll put it a little bit on my hand. It's still way too much every time, but it stains my hand, and then I have to use a whole bunch of makeup remover and, and stuff to get it off, and I'd rather just have a little mixing palette like this, and I think it'll be cool for like when I'm mixing like mixing pigments and, and different things. I think it will be nice to have this, so I'm excited to have this, and it's nice and cute, and I think it'll be nice and travel friendly. I got a box of shadow shields. I am very disappointed in this <laughs> because my my own fault. Um, when I was looking at it, in the spot where it said how many of these were left like in stock, I thought that meant how many you got in a box, and it said 150. So I was thinking, okay, $9.99 for, for 150 of these um, shadow shields. That's a really, really good price. Okay, awesome. And it's only 30. I didn't realize that. I should have realized that. I was looking at the wrong thing. But these are shadow shields, and um, they are these little not things. I don't. I'll take one out and show you. They're these little things that you put around your eye like this, and it catches fallout. You can use it to do a wing. Um, I tried one today, and I re I did not do a good job, and it messed up my wing, and I ended up having to take that off and start over again. Um, what I think I'll do with these, I don't really need them for fallout. Um, what I want to do is just cut them into strips and use them, I think, just to do, like, the wings. I think that's how I'll use them because, like, $10 for 30 of these, that's just that's just not working for me um, long term. But they're really cool. It's a cool concept. I'm excited to try them. Maybe I can make my eyeshadow look like this, ladies. Do I look like that? No. And I have... What else is in here? I got the Perry and Spirit brush cleaner. I got a 32 ounce. I have mixed feelings about this. So you guys know I've been liking the, the Cinema Secrets one. Um, at first I was really into this. I used it one time, I used it the other day to actually disinfect my brushes. And it doesn't dry very quickly. I mean, it dries quick, quicker than washing them and leaving, letting them dry overnight does. But I didn't hang them up like I normally do because they felt pretty dry. And then I put them in my makeup brush case and when I went in there 
um, this morning, it was like covered in stuff. So it had just been like, I guess, coming out of the brushes. I don't know. So I'm a little bummed about that. And like the smell is really nice, but when you use it, it lingers in your room for like days and days and days and days. Like it's intense. So I don't know. I... I'm really, really mixed feelings on this right now. I feel like my brushes feel a little greasy. Maybe I didn't do a good job um, because I'm trying to find something that will disinfect my brushes and allow me not to have to like use soap and water because it just takes too long. Um, so hopefully this works. I don't know. I really do have mixed feelings so far. I want to love it. I think that I still will. We'll see. Um, but I purchased that. And then the very last thing I think, right? Hold on. Yes. I purchased the Ben Nye Theatrical Cream Makeup Kit in the shade TK3 Olive, and it's light to medium of the olive ones. So I was really excited about this. This came with a whole lot of stuff. I purchased this because I'm going to be doing a collab soon with uh, Michelle from Vamp Beauty. So Michelle, if you're watching this video, I don't know if you are, but if you are, I got my thing that I need to do the collab with so we are a good to go on that I have to film the video I'll try to film it sometime this weekend but we are good to go on the collab I'm really excited so anyway um, be looking for that guys I'm excited about that I love her channel I will link it down below yeah check out her channel it's down below but anyway um I had been wanting to dabble into special effects makeup for a while but I didn't have anything that I could really use so I decided to order this kit it wasn't bad it was like $60 or $65 I'm not sure um, there were two options. I couldn't decide which one. There was cake foundation and cream. Uh, there's a cake kit and a cream kit. And I don't know anything about cake, like foundation and stuff. It seems like it's activated with like oil or I don't know. Don't, don't quote me. I don't know. I really don't. So I got the cream one and it was kind of hard picking my shades. I think that it's okay though. I'm, I'm not sure yet, but I will show you what all came in here. So it came packaged better, but I actually opened it all up to look in here. You guys know how I am. So, first off, we have a whole bunch of eyebrow products and a lip product and some brushes. So, we have a eyebrow pencil in black, and it is just your standard, really big though, uh, black eyebrow pencil. Ooh, really nice. I'm excited for this because I will be needing this for my collab thing. Um, it came with one in dark brown, which is good um, because ooh, that would actually work really well on my brows. So it came with those two eyebrow products. I'm pretty sure you could probably use them as liner too. And then it came with a lip pencil in brick red. And I'm really stoked about this. It's really creamy and smooth. So those are the three swatches from those products right there. And that came with two brushes. Um, it doesn't have, well, one is, it says FB7 and FB3. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm thinking that they're probably like lip brushes or eye brushes or something. I don't really know. But they're these brushes. They feel okay. Honestly, I was expecting better quality from like Bin Nye, but you know, it's okay. I am excited about the makeup more than I am about these brushes. So um, continuing on with brushes. It came with this RB11 brush. I don't know what that is, but it's like a, maybe a powder brush. This is a not very nice brush. Like, if you can see that, it's just one of those brushes where you're like, oh, a brush, and you just kind of like toss it. Um, maybe these brushes are special because they're like, be, they, you need them for the, these products. I don't really know, but it doesn't feel very nice. So I don't know, I'll use it, but I, not going to reach for it very often. And then it came with this um, lash comb and brush, which is actually really nice. This is very nice, actually. It's nice and little and cute. I'm going to take this. I will definitely use it. And it came with some other little products in here. came with a, I think this is called a, a, a stipple sponge, and it has these little holes in it. So I guess you could, like, get a stippling effect. I don't know. I'm excited to try this, though. I've never tried anything like that besides, like, a stippling brush came with this giant powder puff brush thing. Uh, that's cool to have, I guess. <laughs> I'm not really excited about the implements that came with it, as you can tell. Um, it came with a bunch of these little triangle-y, uh, little cheap sponges, these like one-time use sponge applicator things. Um, excited about these though. I will use these. I would have purchased them anyway, so I'm glad they came in there. And it came with some Q-tips, I guess for like detail work, I'm not sure. 
Um, on to the really interesting stuff. So it came with a Ben Nye hair color in ivory. And this is cool. I will be using this uh, probably. I'm excited about that. I didn't even know that was in there. It came with some spirit gum, which I think is, oh, it's an adhesive. Okay, see, I don't know anything about uh, special effects yet. So it came with some spirit gum. Came with 0.25 fluid ounces of spirit gum. It came with some dark blood. That's gonna be cool to play with. It came with some liquid latex. I've never used liquid latex and I don't really know, so we will see what happens. I'm gonna have to watch a bunch of YouTube videos. And came with some nose and scar wax. And again, I have no idea. I have never used this. It looks really weird. Um, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know. I'm really excited though. I mean, it's gonna be fun to play with. I'm gonna have to watch a bunch of videos, so. My special effects YouTube friends, I'm gonna be coming to your channels, man. Came with some spirit gum remover. I at least know what that is. And it came with a decent size of the Bin Nye Fair translucent face powder. So that's really cool. I'm excited to try this. Then it came with a bunch of cream products and maybe a couple powder products too. So first off, we have a powder rouge in fresh coral and I really like this blush. I'm really glad they included it in this box for the olive skin tones because coral colors are my jam. My other olive skin toned people out there, I know you're like, yeah, yeah it is. I know, you know what I'm talking about. But this is the uh, fresh coral and I just really like it. It's just this really nice color. I think it's gonna look really good with my skin. And I'm excited about this powder. Uh, next up, we have the Bin Nye Cream Shadow. It's a um, in apparently number three character shadow. Uh, I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means it's like an eyeshadow. I don't know if that means it's like a shadow you would use to like contour with. I have no idea, guys. Um, enlighten me down below because I don't know. Um, so here it is. This is kind of like a brown color, I guess. I feel like you could contour with though, um, with this color. So if that's what it is, let me know. But there it is right there. That is beautiful though. And the next one, sorry, I'm just wiping my hands on my shirt. I am real classy. The next one is uh, in number one white. And this is what I really needed for my collab. I didn't have anything like this. And now I do. Oh, that's really pigmented. That's gotta be cool. So. There's that white shade. And then last but not least, we have a highlight in ultralight, and this is a cream highlight. Ugh. And, ooh, there's like this weird liquidy part on the side. That was weird. I don't know if I liked that. <laughs> so, sorry. Uh, here's the cream highlight. Uh, yeah, that would, that would work. Oh, oh. That would work pretty well for me. That's it. That's that'll work. That'll do. That'll do, Bid and I. Um, and then we have some more stuff, guys. I'm sorry. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, my battery is super low. Ah. Uh, okay. Let me try to get through this really quickly. I'm not gonna swatch these, but these are the contour wheels. This is a cream contour wheel. Um, it has a bunch of stuff in there. It has some lip colors. It has some rouge. It has a black. It has a bunch of stuff in there. And then this is a bruise and abrasion wheel. I've never used one of these. I'm excited for that. Uh, there's a nice dark color in there too. Then it came with three different shades of foundation. The one is in Shinsi Ivory, and that's the one that I feel like will match me the best. The next one is in Olive Fair. Um, it'll be okay, I guess. And then this one will have to be a contour, but this one's called Japanese. I don't know how I feel about the names of these foundations. Um, I don't know, but anyway, those are all the products that I received from Camerata Cosmetics and Friends Beauty. Thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to try all these out. Um, if I have enough memory, I will really quickly try to swatch these foundations for you. Oh. Okay, hold on. I can do this, guys. I can do this. I don't have any room left on any parts of my arm, so we're gonna swatch on my arms now. 
Almost done. Almost done, camera. Hold out, hold out, camera. Hold out a little longer. Hold up. Yeah, that one's going to have to be like a contour shade. Part of me wonders if I should have gotten like the fair ones instead of getting the olive ones, but I felt like these colors would work better for me in general. Okay, so here are the three foundation shades. They're right there on my arm. Oh, this is a bad swatch, but you see this one I think will work. This will be a nice contour and this I don't know, but that is everything. Sorry this video is like so crazy. Um, I just wanted to share my haul with you. So thank you so much for watching and this is Megan Hilt out.